Hello, I'm going to talk about uh, the math circle, math circles at basis independent Silicon Valley. Uh, my name is uh, Manoj Das. I'm the primary parent advisor for the math circles. At the end of this presentation, I will talk about a few other uh, volunteers who also help me with uh, organizing the circles. I am reachable at bisv.math at gmail.com or you can also reach me at my personal email manojdas1 at gmail.com. So first, why math circles? The idea behind math circles is to get together and work on uh, cool, challenging problems geared towards competitive maths. In this process, you are going to learn some very, very challenging new concepts. You will see math at a level that you don't see in regular school curriculum. The creativity involved in this is what draws many of our students in into this activity. And as a bonus, this is a great fun activity. We participate in many local and national and international competitions. But the main thing is our students have a lot of fun getting together and solving some great math problems. I'm actually going to talk about both middle school circles and upper school circles today. And both of them are taught by Dr. Lucien Sega. Dr. Lucien Sega, who runs the Sega Math Academy, which the URL is down at the screen and you can go and visit his website, is a professional math instructor who teaches at many math circles around the Bay Area. He used to be a faculty member at San Jose State University and is now doing full-time competitive math preparation for students. He has trained many students at different levels, uh, including national and international competitions. He has been teaching our math circle for the last three, four years, and we have uh, seen great progress in our students under his uh, uh, teaching. As I said before, the main idea behind the math circle is to get together and participate in competitive math. Uh, we, our students participate in many competitions, both competitions that happen at school on site, as well as we travel uh, locally and we travel nationally for participating in competitions. Uh, examples of some on-site competitions, first are the competitions that the school organizes, AMC 8, AMC 10, 12, AMI, USA, JMO. These are the primary competitions and these are organized by schools. In addition to that, from the math circle, we organize competitions like Bay Area Math Olympiad known as BAMO at school. We organize a couple of Canadian competitions, including Canadian Open Math Contest, COMC. We do Purple Comet, Math Madness, etc. We also travel uh, locally and nationally to participate in competitions and some of the more interesting ones are the Harvard MIT math competition known as HMMT, Caltech Harvey Mudd math contest CHMMC, the Stanford math contest SMT, the Berkeley mini math competitions BMMT, Berkeley math competition BMT. And many of these competitions are more geared towards the upper school math circle, but many of them, uh, our middle school students also participate. Uh, they also participate in the upper higher school ones where and some competitions like Purple Comet, BAMO, BMMT are geared towards middle school as well. Our students have been doing extremely well in these competitions, both individually and in as team. Uh, let me highlight a few accomplishments on individual level. Uh, our students got first place in Santa Clara math contest, second place in BAMO 12, uh, first place in uh, Berkeley mini math tournament, gold medal in European girl math Olympiad, math prize for girl, cyberspace online math competition, uh, we got many honorable mentions in BAMO 8, BAMO 12, Santa Clara Math Competition, etc. In team competitions, our team got fifth place in Harvard MIT Math Tournament, November 18, sixth place in Stanford Math Tournament, February 20, first place in Purple Comet 2020 for middle school, third place in BAMO 8, the middle school version for 2020, and second place in BAMO 12, the high school BAMO level for 2020. So our students have been doing extremely well uh, in these competitions. 
So let me talk a little bit about upper school math circle first. So upper school math circle focuses on AMC 10, 12, AMI and harder competitions. The admission for upper school math circle is based on AMC 10, 12 score or an assessment test. And this club meets on Fridays. And uh, this year, we, uh, due to the COVID situation, we will be meeting online only. There are three options. Uh, first, you can do a full two hour slot, five to seven, and the cost for that, that is $850. You can do the first hour, five to six for $600, or you can do the second hour. The second hour is geared more towards hard AME, JMO, AMO level competitions, and that's for $500. We have about 30 spaces and the club tends to get oversubscribed. So sign up soon. You don't want to miss the assessment test because once you miss that, there is no second option. In addition to the fees mentioned above, the school also typically charges $100 fees. I don't know what's going to happen this year. For the middle school math circle, it focuses on AMC 8 math counts and early AMC 10 level, uh, 10 level competitions. This year, we are talking about the possibility of splitting the middle school math circle into two different levels. And when you go and do the survey, we will ask you some question around that. And based on the interest, we may do that. The admission to the middle school math circle is based on AMC 8 scores or an assessment test. And the cost for middle school math circle is $500. Again, there may be $100 fees to the school. Uh, the middle school math circle meets on Wednesdays and or Thursdays, depending on whether we have one class or two class. And the timing will be 5 to 6 p.m. Again, it will be online this year. There will be no physical club this year. Depending on whether we have one section or two section, we will have 30 spaces or 60 spaces. So again, sign up soon. How the process is going to work? First, everyone, including whether you're a returning student or a new student, you should go and register your interest at the link provided. When you go there, it will first have you join a club. Uh, which is a uh, BISV math interest group. And that's a club we will continue using for different competitions, etc. we organize. Uh, use that opportunity to set up your account correctly, including uh, who is a parent, who is a student, uh, etc. And once you have done that, you can proceed and fill in the survey form, which is an interest form. Uh, based on that, people will get invited. First, we will invite returning students who indicated interest in coming back and were in good standing. Uh, this returning student applies only for people who were upper school and going to upper school or middle school and going to middle school. Uh, middle school students wanting to move up to upper school will have to go through the regular process. Second, after the uh, uh, repeat students are invited, we will invite students with good AMC scores. And typically for middle school math circle, it's an AMC 8 score of 15 or higher. And for upper school math circle, typically it's an AMC 10 score of 96.5 or higher. Next, people who cannot qualify based on the AMC score can take an assessment test. And the assessment test will be done this year online. The exact date and time is to be determined. And there will be a separate assessment test for upper school and middle school. Based on the result of that, we will invite people uh, based on their performance in the test and the amount of seats we have available. Uh, please uh, do not send fees or do not go and register in the school uh, active uh, site before you are formally admitted because uh, acceptance to the uh, club is uh, based on performance in the test. There, I have a few frequently asked questions in the slides here, which I'm not going to talk about right now in interest of time. Uh, these slides, the link to them is in the last slide that I'll talk about. So you can come back and look at this uh, questions and go through them, okay. Uh, one, uh, two important things I would talk about, although I said I will not talk a, a lot about the frequently asked questions. Two things I'll talk about. First is, although we call it an upper school math circle and a middle school math circle, we don't limit the upper school math circle uh, to only upper school. We have many middle school students also join there. It is only based on your performance in assessment test and your aptitude for math. 
Second is the competitions that we organize. We do not limit it only to uh, the math circle students. We make it open to the BISV community. And even if you are not able to join the circles for uh, schedule constraints or otherwise, I encourage you to go and fill the, for, uh, fill the interest form and stay engaged with the community and participate with us in the various competitions that we organize. Finally, the, uh, let me leave you with a set of links First, at the top, the uh, bit.ly3ahku13, that is the link to this presentation. So you can come back and look at this presentation again. Uh, to join the interest list, there is a bit.ly again, BISV Math 20 hyphen interest, or you can directly go to that uh, website, uh, to that club space, which will essentially take you to, through the same joining process and you can find the survey there is uh, bit.ly slash BISV Math 20. That's a space where uh, on an ongoing basis, as we organize different competitions, we will have the interest list, etc. there. Once the clubs get formed, the upper school math circle will have its own club. Uh, once that gets constituted, the link will be added. Same thing with the middle school math circle. And those uh, links, those uh, spaces will be used to provide you homework and for you to have homeworks and assessment tests and other surveys there. Finally, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me, bisv.math at gmail.com. And at this time, let me take the opportunity to talk, to talk about a few other volunteers as well. So as I said in the beginning, I'm the primary organizer, primary parent advisor for the math circles. For the upper school math circle, I am helped in this task by Raghu Parvateneni and Jume Wu. On the middle school math circle is primarily Zhen Min Li. And in fact, if you get admitted to the middle school math circle, you will be sending your fees not to me, but to Zhen Min Li. And in, for middle school, we have a few other volunteers, Simon Gordon and a few other volunteers who help out with that. So with that, let me end this presentation here. If you have any question, don't hesitate to reach out to me at bisv.math at gmail.com.